Novak Djokovic is the king of Australia once again. He has defeated Stefanos Tsitsipas in straight sets to win a record 10 Australian Opens, the most by any player in history. And in the process, he has also won his 22nd Grand Slam, thereby tying his art rival Rafael Nadal in the process. This seemed like poetic justice because Novak was unable to defend his title last time due to some vaccine complications which prevented him from playing the tournament. And everyone knew who the real champion was. And today, it was just a demonstration to the world and mostly to the organizers of Australia who dared to leave him out of the Australian Open last year. He was ruthless in the entire tournament. No opponent ever stood a chance. Stefano Tsitsipas wasn't able to break him once. And right from the quarterfinal, Novak simply steamrolled his opponents into submission. And today, it wasn't anything different. For the Greek, Stefano Tsitsipas, he played a good match, but he needs to improve a lot, especially mentally, if he has to have any chance of winning against Djokovic in the near future. His head-to-head -head record, as of now, stands 11-2 to after today. And he has to make some drastic changes if he has to have any chance of winning against him. We have seen in the past that players with single-handed backhands always seem to struggle against Novak because Novak always targets their weakness and exploits it better than any other champion past or present. And today it was on display once again. Djokovic kept on going to the city pass backhand which was predictable. And he got the desired result. For <coughs> one and a half sets, Novak looked absolutely dominant. He had only one break point leading up to the second set, and which he saved quite easily. The players who have hurt Novak, apart from Rafa and Roger, a Stan Warinka. Daniel Medvedev and most recently Nick Kyrgios. Now the best formula against Djokovic is to have a very powerful forehand and backhand. Stan was able to defeat him because he was great of both <laughs> flanks. He had a devastating forehand and his single handed backhand is probably the best in tennis history. It had the most pace and he could he hit winners at ease, something that Sitsipas needs to develop. He needs to work on his backhand down the line. He almost, he almost inevitably plays to the cross court side, which Novak expects and he can redirect the ball easily. But he needs to play it more down the line to have any chance of winning in these close encounters. He had his moments today but he wasn't able to convert any one of them. And Novak for the great champion that he is practically wore him down and didn't give him any chance of recovering. He kept on applying the pressure but Sitsipas looked green today, rather green. Someone who has never won a Grand Slam before, it was evident. In the second set he had plenty of opportunities to win the match, even in the tribe break. He kept on losing his serve, he missed his forehands. He gave up many unforced errors and practically handed Djokovic the second set. But having said that, Novak capitalized 
for the great champion that he is and now he will be the world number one again come 30th Jan. 2023 he will be the one number one player in the world for the 374th week running now that in itself is a historical it quite literally cements him as the goat the race for the maximum number of titles is on between him and Rafa but the kind of form that Novak is in him Right now, he seems unbeatable, untouchable at times. And Rafa, well, his career seems to be surrounded by injuries more and more. For Rafa to have any chance of adding to his tally of Grand Slam, he needs to be physically fit for Roland Garros. But at the present, Novak is the favorite to win. Roland Garros and Wimbledon as well. It's only a matter of time before Novak wins two or three more titles and cements himself as the greatest of all time.